Today, we're talking about the future of influencer marketing, or if it's even alive. So is influencer marketing dead? Let's find out. Yes, I never read, but I will read. This is my school. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jade and you're watching one of my business vlogs. I just picked up Crushing It the other day and I'm literally about to go to Starbucks, read my book there. I have a really short attention span, but that's the agenda for today and then we have a meeting. Hey guys, so book reading was great. I think I mentioned this before, I'm very slow at reading. My attention span's like a squirrel, I get really sidetracked. So I read 40 pages in the past five hours. Is that bad? I know. I'm gonna get better. So, it was really good though. I'm absorbing all this information. Follow my playlist! Link below! I'm gonna get copyrighted for this. I'm not really opposed to any music, except country. Sorry. I'm really basic. <laughs> but the song's good though. It's like one of the only Drake songs I like. If you guys ever see me in public, I feel like people never like they see me and they just take snapshots of me They never say hi. I, I'm like, I know I have like a resting face, but like I want to say hi. I'm not mean. Say hi. Okay Listen Are you okay? If you guys saw Target created a campaign with Zed called The Middle with that one girl, sorry, I don't know your name, and like Lele Pons, which is that Instagram comedian. To check out this new app called Yarn, it's so addicting. Is it a sewing app because you think I'm lonely and my boyfriend broke up with me, that's why? <laughs> right now, I'm not lonely. Which is absolute genius. They just created this really cool music video presented by Target, and there was just like the f***ing like circles and sh like the Target, you know what I mean? Genius! I think those just smart because if I'm sure Target sales has been going down ever since Amazon and Walmart. Target has been out of the loop for a while. Definitely made a good move with their marketing campaign. It's called native advertising. It's very well known. Yeah, but that was so smart. It's done it before. It's done many times. Yeah, but Amazon doesn't do that. Yes. Yeah, I can tell you, Target marketing guy. Smart. Top notch. That. And their target audience is watching Grammys. All the parents like to watch it with their kids, mm -hmm. and then it's an artist that people like. It's like ah, genius. Such a big building. This is like the client space. We are waiting for the meeting. But meanwhile, I ordered a matcha green tea latte. All right, we're back home. Oh, by the way, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the best fam squad ever. I think influencer marketing is alive. It's just the shitty version of it won't survive. What I'm talking about is there's an old way of doing influencer marketing and there's a new era, which is the one I'm more fond of because you're gonna feel a lot more authentic doing the way. So I guess the old way, and you've seen this before, is most brands last year, maybe 2017, they could get away with giving a few influencers with like fake followers, maybe some, you know, real ones of like a little product to hold and take a picture of this cute pen or a cute little swimsuit and make it go viral. They got paid just to post on their story. You can't target people just because they have followers. And you guys are probably like, Jade, I know I know that fake followers don't get you anywhere. But I was really close just a few months ago wanting to buy fake followers. Even if you don't say to yourself that like, I'm never gonna buy fake. Like you probably were thinking about it. Reaching 10K is great to have the swipe up feature, but it's not necessary. I don't think shout out pages are doing so well. For example, shout out pages don't give much value out there. And I can tell you with the new algorithm, even stories are not chronological anymore. If you didn't realize there's a f algorithm on stories which is that kind of broke my heart because stories used to be just the best way to have direct to consumer relationship the fucking idea of someone saying like new post or swipe up for my new product if you do it multiple times it won't work the first time it'll be all right but just don't annoy your followers because they're not going to see it anymore and then therefore instagram's no longer going to show your stories but that's just the new feature of marketing so i think that's just the one thing i don't think shout out pages will do well just because there's no value and the second thing i think immersive content is going to be the only way to do influencer marketing instead of them just posing with a cute water bottle you know that shit is easily swipe away like people can swipe away from that shit. I just know the two mediums of content that will do the best in the future is gonna be voice slash audio and VR. Facebook bought Oculus, which is like the VR goggle shit. 
You know what I'm talking about? You know, GoPro just launched their kind of VR 360 camera. It's coming, guys. So when I mean immersive content, I mean it has to be consumable so the audience pays attention. Like me, like I can't read a book. I get like bored. Audio and 360 content will be the best way to consume. For example, you may know that the Grammys was just kind of like this weekend. Target did the collaboration with Zed. That is genius marketing and I want to dive into that more because then you're looking at Amazon. Amazon just did a collaboration with Cardi B. Genius. So the music industry has so much power I think their campaign worked really well just because it's a music video um, You know, it's not a boring commercial. It's actually very immersive content because it's audio. It's voice. It's okay See you see that it's a target. It's a target. Do you see the sir? That is smart influencer marketing because it's, it's discreet. It's immersive. It's not annoying People can't tell it's target unless they look at it really closely and even the colors like that is good influencer marketing You can't tell so I think people that are, aren't nonchalant about their influencer marketing will suffer the most I don't think sales will be as well as you know holding a water bottle it can work, you know, in a picture, like, cute. But I think what does really well is, like, immersive content. I don't know what that means for you. Honestly, no one's gonna get this. So the third thing I think is, for a brand, you need to choose people that are community-oriented. 2017, it was an okay year to just pay someone that has, like, a lot of followers just for the social proof. They got pretty far, okay? Now, I don't think that's gonna work. I think more niche-based, community-oriented influencers will do the best. So even if they have a smaller following, they have to be community-oriented, which means they are underpriced. So most of the big social proof players will overcharge you which will cause you just a lower conversion in general just think about it, like you're paying more for less sales think about more niche based followers with targeted audience in your niche I said niche so many times I, I'm just looking at the target campaign and it has it has everything so they're not doing a shout out page they're just doing YouTube and the Grammys they performed it at the Grammys so already you know that's a platform where people have their attention on that's what I think and then second immersive content so make sure it has more of a music or voice element to it because now guys this song's on the radio do you understand Target is incepting their song. So when you're listening into the car at home on the radio, you think Target. It is genius. I don't think it's just because it's a cute music video. I think it's because they use the music industry to leverage them. That is smart. The third thing was community oriented people. I think Zed does a good job with his personal branding. He's not too salesy. He does barely any sponsorships. So the moment he partners with Target, it's not saturated. And he's definitely community oriented. But the fact that they put Lele Pons, she's an Instagram comedian with a huge Latino following. You know, that is niche based, focused, community oriented. Even though she's a big following, it's smart, smart marketing. I just really got inspired to just sit here and talk about just the future of marketing. So if you run a dropship or Shopify account, or if you are an influencer, I want you to think about those three topics. I hope people don't get the wrong way and I say like, if you are posting pictures and you are just a shitty like bot follower, like you're gonna be fine. I'm just saying like for how long? <laughs> I think the new era of influencer marketing is gonna be great for authentic brands. Just be patient guys. I think if you don't take anything else from this, it's just be authentic and create a community niche based following or whatever you want to post post it because you want to and brands will come to you give value first and then find the money later once you have the attention of your consumer and you're doing it because you care about them you have money that's just given and after reading crushing it i definitely agree and i hope you guys get the value from this shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner i want you to comment below what you thought about influencer marketing were you on that boat were you not i want to hear thoughts on your, the best influencer marketing you've seen and what you're what you think about it i just want to know maybe if you bought a product from a company before just because their marketing was so good i just want to hear what you think all right guys so i will catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching good bye what's up guys thank you so much for watching hold up if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.